7 let's solve our exercise in our book chapter 10 lesson 1 page number 582 so please open with me page number 582 and let's start solving our first question here we need to identify we need to know what is the name of the base the face for each figure and then we need to name the figure here the base what is the name of the base here let's count how many sides for the base one two three four five five sides mean it's a pentagon and the all the sides are and the faces are triangles so it will be pentagonal pyramid because we said before pyramid has only one base and all the faces are triangles and met in one vertex point let's see the second one the second one here count how many sides one two three four five six seven eight eight sides it's mean octagon and the faces are rectangle the faces are rectangles so what we will call it so what we will call it we will call it diagonal press let's see here we have the base is triangle the bases is triangles two triangles are base and the faces here is rectangles so it will be triangular press now let's go to the next question we need to classify each figure as a polyhedron or not polyhedron and then we will name the figure we said before a polyhedron is a shape has a polyhedron is a three-dimension shape all the faces and the bases are polygons okay so let's check here here we have it's not a polyhedron because it has circle and curved side so it's a cone if it has circle so it's a cone question number five we have here all the sides are polygons so it's a polyhedron and let's see what is the name of it count the base we have how many bases we have we have one base so it's a pyramid so count the base what is the name of the base one two three four five six sides so it's a hexagon so the base is hexagon so the name will be hexagonal pyramid why pyramid because it has only one base and all the faces are triangles here let's check question number six question six we have here two bases and each base is circle so this one is not a polyhedron because it's circle and curved so it's not a polyhedron and we name it as slender let's check question seven question seven here we will name all the bases and faces in the picture in the figure and then we will name the figure here the base is triangle how many bases i have here i have only one base i have only one base so it's pyramid I have, if i have only one base and all other faces are triangles so it's a pyramid how we will call pyramid we name pyramid by the base so the base here is triangle and all the other faces are triangle so we call it triangular pyramid next one question eight we have here the base is rectangle the base is rectangle all other faces are rectangle so we call it rectangular prism because we have two bases parallel and congruent and these two bases are rectangle so we call it rectangular prism next question nine how many bases we have we have only one base how many bases we have we have only one base this one base and the faces are triangles the faces are triangles so we call it we call it what it's a pyramid but what is the name of this pyramid we need to know what is the name of the base the base here how what Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six is hexagon. So it will be hexagonal perm. Question 10. Question 10 here. 
we need to we need to know if the if the figure is a polyhedron or not, and we will name the figure. First one here, all the sides and all the faces and the base are flat, so it's a polyhedron. Then we have the two bases, so it's a prism. Two bases, so it's a prism. What is the what is the base here? The base here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight sides, so it's octagon. So we will call it octagonal prism. Question eleven. Question eleven. We have the two bases are circles. So if it's a circle, so we call it. So it's not a polyhedron. And we call it if we have two bases circle, we call it slender. Question twelve. All the faces and the bases are flat, excellent, and close. So we call it polyhedron. Then the base is. We have how many bases we have? We have only one base. If we have two bases, so it will be prism. We have only one base, so it's a pyramid. We call the pyramid by the name of the base. What is the base here? Is a is triangle, so it will be triangular pyramid. And the base here is triangle, and the faces also are triangles, so it will be pyramid, triangular pyramid. I hope you can understand the lesson so far so please solve go and solve by yourself if you have any questions ask me directly thank you after finishing our lesson you need to go for page 582 and solve your homework from question 7 to question 12 thank you